Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service in San Diego. Uh, the weather is quiet this week, except for the winds in the desert and the marine clouds in the morning. So let's take a look at things further out. But first we need to look back at the recent weather. Over the past 30 days, even though precipitation has stopped for the most part, other than drizzle along the coast and a few thunderstorms in the high desert, you can see we're actually running most areas below average the past 30 days this spring. If you look at temperature, it's really noticeable that the coastal areas in some of the inland valleys are a couple degrees below average over the past 30 days. Meanwhile, our deserts, uh, they're warming up as normal, but they're also running a little bit above average. So coastal areas, not just the marine clouds and marine layer, but the general weather pattern has been allowing for these cool conditions. We call it troughiness uh, or weak weather systems passing by across California, not allowing an upper ridge of high pressure to build over us. But the good news is days like today, it allows the marine layer to mix out and you get a lot of sunny days instead of the May, gray and June gloom. And here's a look at that weather pattern that I was referring to. This is over the past 30 days or so, mid-April through mid-May. You can see a blocking pattern has set up in the central North Pacific. That's allowing for upper level high pressure and also those warmer temperatures you probably saw in Northern California. Uh, but the remnants of the storm track across Southern California is still showing up coming out of Hawaii and across the Northern part of the plains uh, leading to some active weather in the eastern part of the United States. This is uh, analysis of the past 30 days of the weather pattern, the jet stream, the upper level part of the atmosphere, which does control our storms and also our heat waves. And here is the seasonal outlook for the core of our summer, July through September. This also coincides with our monsoon season, the seasonal shift of wind that brings moisture from the south, from Mexico, instead of off of the Pacific, like we have in, in the winter. Two things to note here that stand out across the west, the brown shaded below average conditions, less thunderstorms, less monsoon moisture than normal. Doesn't mean we won't have storms as we will have thunderstorms in the west, but less activity and less numerous is the forecast, especially across the Rockies. Now temperatures are also noticeable and above average prediction of temperatures across all the West, especially with heat building from Texas up and through the Great Basin as shown here and the Rockies. So high confidence of above average conditions, dominant upper level high pressure in that area leading to more heat waves. Now most of the country also looks to be warm and above average, including the Northeast with the wetter conditions remaining in the southeast and along the Gulf Coast and Mid-Atlantic states. So overall, below average monsoon is expected, less thunderstorms over our mountains and western areas, but above average temperatures, especially in our deserts and our mountain areas. The model data also shows this. So if you look at July through September, you can see that the temperatures across the region are expected to be broadly above normal across most of the United States. Most of the model data is showing that. Uh, just how far west it makes it into California is uncertain as we see a gradient along the immediate west coast on most of the weather model data here. Some of it bring it all the way to the coast, others keep it just inland for the core of the above normal, warmer than normal conditions this summer, July through September. Now, as far as precipitation for the core of the summer, July through September and the monsoon season, you can see the model data also indicates a strong indication of below average precipitation from Mexico up through the Rockies. Uh, it's shown here in the orange and red shaded, and it shows in almost all of the model data uh, to some degree across the Southwest. Okay, here's some good news. Now, with the recent winter being wet, wetter than usual, above normal, especially across Southwest California, shown here in the green, blue, and purple shaded, 
where it was 100 to 150% of normal, so almost one and a half seasons built into one. The good news was that is these fire weather conditions are expected to be a slow start. And so we're expecting, as you see here from the US Forest Service, green shaded areas below average fire for May, June, and July. Now take a note that by the time we get to August and with those potential heat waves, especially over mountains and deserts, more normal activity as far as fires go is expected. Across the United States, you can see California stands out and California did have a very wet winter, again, back to back. And you can see the slow start expected below average conditions for fire potential June, July, then going into a normal pattern by August. But do note some of the interior areas start early in June and potentially expand in July with above normal potential in parts of the Great Basin and the Southwest.